Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Last episode, we released a exclusive, a couple exclusive games for my consoles. This one here, Cyberstalker 7, it's a skill game that's for all four of my consoles. Three Kingdoms 9 is an RPG that's only for my two newest consoles. Um, neither one is selling very well, but kind of to be kind of to be expected, I guess. And then we did a visual novel and we did an RTS. Those are my first both, although I guess the RTS was two episodes ago. Oh, wow, we only got three games in the last episode. So I believe the plan for this one was to make um, some game by playing Battle 7. This is one of my more valuable IPs. Action games aren't super popular right now, but hopefully by the time this comes out, the trend will be changing soon, and hopefully action will be half good at that point, or half popular. Um, I don't think we're going to make this tech level four. I think it's a little early to try that. So let's go just tech level three, my two consoles, of course. We're actually 7.2 million is pretty solid for the Luchera Cube, I'm being honest. All right, so tech level three. I will make a tech level four game at some point. Probably once I get my tech level four console, I'll do it. Everything looks good here. Ooh, I might get the uh, mocap studio today. If not, it'll be next episode. We're getting close. Oh, 40 of 40. Wow, that's a lot of features. Everything except wheel support goes into an action game. But I am just going to make it double A. This means if, if another feature comes out while we're making this game, we're not going to be able to add it. That's not the end of the world. Oh, never mind. We have to take off online multiplayer. Because, of course, you know, consoles aren't capable of being on the internet yet at this point in 1993, for the most part. Um, I mean, obviously PCs are, but I don't know about y'all, but I did, first time I was on the internet was like 1996. And that's just like email, right? First time I gamed on the internet was probably, God, 98 or 99, I would say, somewhere around there. Half-Life. Team Fortress Classic. Wait, was that Half-Life or Half-Life 2? Anyway, regardless. <laughs> Unimportant. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Free update for... Let's do an update for Three Kingdoms. It'll cost a million dollars. We're going to lose money off this, but it's going to sell a bunch of consoles, right? So it should be okay in the long run. In theory, but I think... I think, yeah, well, once this case is done, I think we'll be able to make a tech level 4 console right do i want to probably i probably should internet marking has been unlocked okay that's good all right so develop a game no not develop a game update so super friends my visual novel was selling pretty well actually i mean there's like no visual novels on the market right it's kind of <laughs> kind of has monopoly on the market which is good obviously what we want but yeah there's like no there's barely any tech level four consoles right now there isn't any so i might even be able to be first to market now obviously there's a couple of computers that are higher than tech level four but as for consoles i could be first i think i want to be first so we got everything we need there um we will call it Chair cube two. Yeah, do I want to rush this out? Yeah, let's rush this out. Get it out there. Um, let's go red. And these hues are weird. Like, <laughs> it looks red here, but it's orange there, right? And the orange looks yellow. The purple looks red. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind. All right, so that's the best case. Let's go with four controllers. Let's include, let's include Three Kingdoms 9, because it's a good game that's going to sell low because it's exclusive for my console. So let's include it. All right, console can be connected to the internet, <laughs> which will be good, right? Because we'll be able to include online multiplayer. Backwards compatible, Tech Level 3, Tech Level 3, and the Tech Level 2 ones as well. It's good. Turn on all the features. 
Perfect. All right, so that is coming. That is on its way. Back level four. All right, so we must well market that. And as soon as that comes out, no, we're gonna pull our tech level two consoles off the market when Cyberstalker Seven goes off the market because it's for those consoles. I believe was the plan, and I think it's I think it's a good plan. Let's see, but I think it's a good plan. <laughs> and let's get this up to twenty five hype, and then forty hype. And then we'll just do two TV spots to get it to 100. This is the most money efficient way to get 100 hype from zero. Oh no, Biplane Battle 7 lost 100 points. 100 tech points. That's a lot. Considering, yeah, we have less than 1,000. All right, Satisfactory 06 is off the market. So we can probably consider doing Satisfactory 07. 24 million, that's good. That's pretty good profit. Better than all these other ones. Yeah, it's definitely taking longer to get games out now. I mean, it took 16 weeks for that one, 12 weeks for this one. How long is this one gonna take? I mean, I have lots of room in here. I can add more people, get through these faster. I'll probably have to recruit some people. Yeah, no. <laughs> Pretty poor traits right now and that's okay because we can recruit people all right with Jericho cube 2 is at max hype um ooh, we can research adjustable censoring <laughs> of course adjustable censoring that's <laughs> i don't recall that even being a thing all right so let's go game designer guild worker we'll automatic repeat and we're gonna do Get a couple all-rounders in here, hopefully. There's an all-rounder. They're unlucky, but they don't take breaks. That's good. Yeah, untalented, that's not good. Eh, greedy is fine. I think we need a couple more people in our sound studio. Ooh, efficient and all-rounder is good. Okay, one more game designer here. Actually, you know what? Let's get a couple of programmers. So are we close to... Yeah, let's do pre-release stuff here. Let's do overhype. And a pre-release for the press. And then we will go back to looking for people. Yeah, because the graphic studio was done a lot sooner than the sound studio, right? They're already polishing. Container development, um, user profiles. We'll be able to add that to the to our console. Let's throw adjustable sensoring in there, and let's see if we can grab a programmer or two here. Kind of fill out this room somewhat. All right, let's uh, let's polish this a little bit more. Some bugs that need to be fixed. Bugs that were added from the adjustable sensoring. Adjustable sensoring added bugs. Not having much luck getting a programmer. Wow, that was bad luck. Oh my god. Extra bugs and unlucky. <laughs> no, there's just no good programmers out there. There's one. All right, so let's finish development on this. Uh, go through micro arts. This is a subsidiary I own, so I get like all the profit pretty much. And this should be a good game. It is indeed a good game. It took 16 weeks to make that. So this trend will be changing in like one second. So let's just do a free update. Super friends. And up here, we can do a update for by Point Battle 7. And then we will see what the new trend is and probably make a game accordingly. And we can do some game reports here. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta get through those. Any commission work? Get some commission work here. Ooh, lots of commission work here. Real-time strategy is the trend. I could probably do another one. Probably do another real-time strategy. 
And let's add this feature to the console. Extra 80,000, but that is fine. You're hired. And you're hired. All right, so that's enough. That's enough programmers. All right, so what could use some hype? Fantasy Battles, Three Kingdoms 9, and Super Friends. And for consoles, let's go with the Pocket, the Cube, even though the Cube 2 is coming. That is fine. Okay, so what else is popular besides RTS right now? Interactive Movie, um, Eco Sim, RPG. Ooh, strategy. I think we did. I think strategy is the way to go here. That's Factorio 7 or 8 or whatever it is. <laughs> Let's just make sure that engine is up to date. I think tech level 3 will be fine for this. Yeah, so this will be really quick, right? Because we're just adding one thing. It should be really quick. Oh, wow. Bipoint Battle 7 is selling extremely well. That's good. We needed that. We needed the big, we needed the hit. <laughs> um, I mean, we're still making money, but we're mostly making money off, our, off my consoles, right? Like 140 million profit, 82 million profit, 136 million, 69 million, right? That's where we're making most of our money. And this game will probably be ready before the little chair cube, or will it? Yeah, we're gonna, we'll do tech level three. Maybe next game after this one. We'll do an RTS that's tech level four. We'll be my next game after this one. Yeah. Satisfactorio seven. Surprise it doesn't have more a higher IP because it sells really well every time. Right? It's one of it's one probably my most consistent one. Well, I guess all my big IPs are fairly consistent. All right, so we're going tech level three. I'm not going exclusive. I, I tried these two exclusives and they're just gonna lose a bunch of money. I don't have enough console sales. It's it's kind of a like a chicken and an egg, chicken and the egg situation. Like I don't wanna do exclusives because I don't have enough console users. I don't have enough console users because I haven't done enough exclusives, right? So you got to kind of, it's hard. You got to kind of, you got to sacrifice money for the long-term gain. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I think that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Oh, look at that. We got to turn off online multiplayer again. All right, so let's mark the crap out of this. And let's make it as good as we can. So this is one of our flagship IPs. Boom, what are we doing here? Anything to research? There is not. We're doing an update for Biplane Battle, which is good because that is selling extremely well. And let's do another Super Friends update while we're here. That's selling surprisingly well. Cyberstalker 7 and Three Kingdoms on the other hand. But I mean, Cyberstalker 7 has moved 200,000 consoles. Three Kingdoms 9 has moved 100,000 consoles. That is a lot of consoles. All right, so let's make sure my RTS engine has all the tech level four stuff. I'm going to make a tech level four game. Port. And it will be for specialized in Lucera Cube. Ooh. And yep, still no research. Oh wow, they got that hyped up already. All right, so let's get a couple of more sound people. Let's go lucky. Try to get a couple of lucky sound folks. And we can, you know, get a bunch of lucky people and then we can form an office lottery pool and having all these lucky people will hopefully make us win the lottery. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that first person because they had some negative traits. Ooh, lucky and talented. Basically, lucky, talented, and efficient are my three favorite traits. And inexhaustible, I think, is the one where they don't take breaks is good, too, obviously. Or doesn't go to the bathroom. It's good, right? All right, so biplane battles sales have dipped a bit. 
but it's still selling 40,000 a week. This is on pace to be my best selling game ever at this point. Um, who's the last? What's my all time best selling game? Cyberstalker 6. Yeah, it's just all these same, like, three or same four IPs. Oh, Fantasy Battles. This is a spin off of the first fantasy, but it outsold all the first fantasies. But I haven't made a first fantasy in a long time, though, either. Probably factoring into that. All right, so customer support queue is finally almost down to zero. All right, and that's probably enough sound people. I might as well grab a couple more. Eventually, I'm going to want this room full, right? I mean, the faster they get through it, it just means the earlier they they um, polish, right? It's a good thing having too many people in these rooms. I should probably throw a few more in my graphics room, though, as well. All right, ooh, somebody laces my engine. That's This is the first time that's happened in a while. All right, so let's stop this. Let's do the pre-release special marketing. So let's do a demo for Biplane Battle 7 first. Get that back up to 100 hype. Ish, hopefully. And we're going to overhype SAS Factorio 7. And pre release for the press. There's currently a lot of bugs. Apparently, I need to beef up. Oh my god, it's only 60 to 80. That's just because of the bugs, I hope. Did I just research? <laughs> was it a feature? Oh, flight six support, I guess it was. Well, we can add that. Yeah, apparently I need to beef up my QA department a little bit. Go efficient. No, we'll go lucky again. I've been doing efficient before, right? 70 to 90. That's better, and there's still a bunch of bugs, so I'm Starting to think this will be okay. I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> Not having much luck finding QA people though. All right, so what do we want to update here? Um, pre update four. Yeah, let's do biplane battle again. Screw it. It's worth it. Fantasy battles is off the market, so I could do fantasy battles too, if I wanted for this RTS, right? Oh, up to 80 to 100. Perfect. Apparently, they really didn't like those bugs. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this out. Strategy. Perfect, because this is a strategy game. I'm not sure why Flight Stick support works for a strategy game, but hey, we'll take it, right? Hey, 97%. Good. This should sell, like, biplane battle level sales, hopefully. All right, so... Develop a game, sequel. Fantasy, wait, can we not do, can we not do a sequel for Fantasy Battles? Because it was, oh, there's at the top. I was thinking because it was a, a spin-off, we couldn't do a sequel, but it was just not in alphabetical order for some reason. I mean, whatever, right? My first tech level four game. So personal computer. Um, well, let's just sort this by tech level. Macintosh, share a cube. Really, that's it. There's literally only the. Wow, but I mean, it's still 173 million people. Um, we got the phaser active. We got the 4DO. Yeah. You know what? Exclusive to the Chair Cube 2. It's going to sell like crap. We're going to lose a ton of, money, ton, ton, ton of money off it. But we'll get those sales right away. Okay, so once again, it, oh, is there a space at the front? Oh, that's why it's at the top. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So length, depth, core. Length. That core and level design, mission design, harder, harder, level design, mission design. All right, so we got to 
take away four points. Try that. Ooh, and you know what? We're going to adjust these sliders because we're about to get a mocap studio. November of 93, isn't it? Pretty sure it's November of 93. 30, 30, 10, 30. So let's lock those in. Although I'm not going to have the people to put in there. <laughs> I'm just realizing. So we need to end automation here. We need to find some programmers. Big time. Some efficient programmers. And I guess we could make this game good. Probably be a good idea, right? Instead of having these teams just sitting around doing nothing. Just a thought. Just a thought there, Looch. And nothing to research. Share cube is coming. Wow, SAS Factory 07 sales are off the charts. Yeah, bunch of bugs is fine. Uh, yeah, we need programmers. We need people to put in our mocap studio. Having it, having it doesn't do anything if we don't have anybody we can put in there, right? Ooh, lucky. Should be right at the end of this week. Oh, come on. No, don't, don't go over there. Stay. Stay up here where I can track you down easy. <laughs> when the time comes. Mocap studio has been unlocked. Perfect. All right, so. Toilets. I don't know why I'm making the bathroom does not need to be this big. I'm pretty sure. That's a lot of toilets. Um, and do we want to do a lounge as well? Okay, so the lounge we're not going to do anywhere near as big. Just enough to keep them busy. And then mocap studio this needs to be huge because uh, the desks are huge like this might not even be big enough i mean it'll be big enough for now but long term it's probably not even big enough oh so you know what let's go do two more then That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Well, apparently there's no heaters in here though. <laughs> Judging by that. Let's get some heaters in here. Should be good. High quality animations will will take away the highest one just because we're a little behind, right? Because the game's like a third done already, right? Oh, we got another console feature media player. We'll be able to add that as well. Let's do an update for Satisfactorio because it's absolutely freaking killing it. Having these games back to back makes me feel better about my decision to make this exclusive. Because we don't care if this loses money, right? Because long-term, we're going to be fine. Is there any programmers on the market? Oh, yeah, look at you. And how many programmers do I got over here that I could pull out? There's a ton of programmers. Pull you out. We don't want to pull out any of the efficient ones. Or sorry, we don't want to pull out any of the all-rounders or engine people. But we can pull out these three. There. That'll get eight people is enough to get, get through that stuff pretty quick. Especially if we make nine people. <laughs> All right. But yeah, that should be enough. We got to advertise this game. And people, definitely enough. Marketing campaign game. Fancy Battles 2. And SAS Factorio 7 sales are staying. I mean, they just hit their dip, but that's still pretty freaking high. Right? Media players, so this is good timing. And by playing battle, staying steady. I mean, we're about to hit the holiday season, so sales are going to go up. 
Hopefully it'll win game of the year. Oh wow, my Why are my console sales so bad? Okay, by playing battle was game of the year. And best graphics and best sound. And I'm developer of the year, but not publisher of the year. Okay, but why did my all right, let's pull let's pull the tech level two consoles off the market. Why did my console sales go in the tank so bad eight weeks ago? Is that when I started making this? No. It's been 35 weeks. So what happened eight weeks ago? Did somebody else release? Console, I mean, did I start this eight weeks ago? Seven weeks. I'm confused. Like even having this, I mean, the fact that a tech level four game is being made it's not for this console shouldn't tank the sales on it so hard I wouldn't think I mean I don't know <laughs> I don't know got a lot of bugs we got to work out here yet um did we add that extra thing I did right Media player. Do I want to wait for this game to be ready? I mean, I could. Um, chair pocket. I mean, sales went back up a bit, but that's because of the holiday season, right? Like, I don't. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't need to be great. Let's get it out. Right. Oh yeah, I gotta put the gotta put the console out first there, Looch. Let's hold at a twenty dollar profit. Let's go twenty four. Let's go twenty five. So it's a little more expensive, but we're really gonna try to drive sales with these exclusives, right? Plus, it's five stars and nine point five out of ten, which is good, obviously. Um, yeah. So this one. I mean, sales of the Blue Cherry Cube are going to go in the tank now. Like, I understand why they go in the tank now. I don't understand why they, they're already in the tank, though. Right? Yeah, so this game's not going to be great just because all the new engine stuff. Actually, 90% is way better than I thought. All right, so... I'm legitimately curious to see what kind of sales this gets. Oh, what kind of game do we want to make now, though? I have not looked into that at all. Eco Sim, I guess, but oh my god, my last Eco Sim was so terrible. It was terrible. Um, I mean, action's not popular, and by playing battle, still selling forty thousand a week. Or Suspector is selling seven is selling eighty thousand a week. I could do a sim. I could do survival. Got a few options here, right? Um, that eco sim was so bad last time. I get lost money. You only got 0.6 IP value. I don't think that's worth it. My survival. IP at point eight. Um, I mean, I could. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, yeah, let's do a sim. Let's do a sim. Let's update the engine. 
going to make tech level four again. I really want to make, I want to make this console really sell. I want to see if I can really make it a thing, right? Can I compete with the Nintendos of the world is the question. All right. Doing anything up here. So we will day one patch for fantasy battles too. Sure. An extra million dollars into the cost that we're not going to recoup. <laughs> 11,000. That is way better than I thought. Way better. Holy crap. Okay. This is good. So how many consoles are we moving? Almost 100,000. I mean, it is the holiday season, but I am absolutely thrilled with that. Anyway, I just realized that I'm over the 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.